from the Delhi studios of Republic TV, it's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. Swami on the debate at 10, powered by Reva University, Quick Heal, Secure Right, Green Lamb Laminates, PolicyBazaar.com, and Kuchina, co powered by Mankind Pharma. Ladies and gentlemen, before my next session, a special interview, a comment on what has become this uh, embarrassing attempt by the India Alliance to boycott parts of the media. And my view is that institutionalized diktats to intimidate free speech against the principles of 191A continue from the India Alliance. After a roaring response by the people of India against the re-emergence, like the rising phoenix from what we hoped for were the ashes of the emergency mindset. Ladies and gentlemen, the India Alliance has an emergency mindset. And the emergency mindset of the Congi-led Alliance is to shoot the messengers, 14 in number to be specific. But the larger point is, the India Alliance should look at the response of the people of India. And the India Alliance should actually think, think at the way the people of the country have expressed shock and horror, at the attitude of this India Alliance. The response, ladies and gentlemen, to this, to this nationwide anger the loud response of the people of this country. They're asking the India Alliance leaders, why are they being cowards? Why is this cowardice to face questions? Why is there this intolerant response to counter thought? A response that attempts to flip the tenet of our democracy, of using power to flex their muscles and make people crawl. But ladies and gentlemen, no proud member of the media will ever crawl. There are nationalists on one side and the India Alliance on the other. And the India Alliance is not making mistakes, it's being asked questions. Leaders of the India Alliance are taking pro-Pakistan positions. Leaders of the India Alliance are saying they will eliminate Hinduism. And when we ask them questions on issues such as this, questions which we are asking on behalf of the people of the country. For you are asking these questions as well. After that, ladies and gentlemen, the India Alliance says we will boycott you. It's rubbish. But my bigger question is this, ladies and gentlemen. It's about the others in the media who I will call the lambs. And I want to question the silence of these media lambs. The nation is rising, is raising its voice against the emergency mindset of some of these politicians. But the silence of the lambs in the media is most embarrassing. And the silence of the Lutian's media lambs is the question which the nation is also asking them directly. If there is one issue on which the response of these people, like the editor's guilt of India, etc., etc., has become so obvious and embarrassing, it is this very case, ladies and gentlemen. After, them, after this, none of them have a right to talk about media freedom anymore. We have a right. We represent the people. They have lost all ethical, moral and technical reasons to ever speak for the media. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to section two. Let's begin our next debate. And with that, viewers, I move to a debate exclusive. I will have with me today Mr. Nara Lokesh. He's the son of Chandra Babu Naidu, who is General Secretary of the TDP, and his father has spent five days so far in prison. Nara Lokesh came in the national capital for legal advice and strategy and maybe more. He claims his father is being politically incarcerated. He denies the corruption charges, says he's fighting for his father. But does Nara Lokesh have specific answers to the specific questions on the specific allegations against his father. Here is the latest and then Nara will join me in the studio. It's been seven days since the arrest of former Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu. He has been lodged in Rajamundri jail for five nights. 
The Andhra Pradesh government has accused Chandrababu Naidu of siphoning off funds in the alleged multi-crore skill development corporation scam. Investigators claim a watertight case against him. Well, this is a case of uh, government uh, money going away into private hands. And the money that has flown out uh, basically in this form, uh, Kill Development Corporation has given to uh, another private entity and the private entity pushes it to a third entity. And the, these money is going to these all these companies and their association with the associates of the accused. That uh, proves the culpability of all, all accused involved. Chandrababu Naidu's son, Nara Lokesh, has been waging a battle against the system for his father. I mean, vindictive politics has gone to a new low. I mean, if you see this, uh, it just become a complete uh, meaningless uh, game. If you look at this particular case, uh, it was filed, FIR was first FIR was filed in 2021. Two years, 36 accused, quite a few sent to jail. Uh, but even till today, they have not been able to file a charge sheet. And after two years, they now come and claim that Mr. Naidu uh, is an accused. Uh, and that, you know, he's the kingpin of this entire uh, scam. Then what were you doing for the last two years? Why didn't you take action on this? He has reached out to politicians and forged alliances. And has now taken the fight to New Delhi. The arrest of a senior political figure like Chandrababu Naidu has sparked a major debate. Since Naidu is an NSG protectee, a report was sought by the headquarters as to whether there was a breach in his security when the process of his arrest and subsequent production in the court happened. The unit accompanying the former chief minister of Andhra Pradesh and the TDP chief, in fact, uh, mentioned in the report that indeed when Naidu was arrested midnight and then subsequently taken by road to be produced uh, in a court and then taken to the jail, at every stage uh, there was a security compromise which is mentioned there now and the report forwarded to the Ministry of Home Affairs as well. All eyes are now on the judicial process as Chandrababu Naidu's family fights for his release. Let's debate. And ladies and gentlemen, with me in the studio is Nara Lokesh, his son of jailed political veteran, former chief minister, uh, Chandrababu Naidu. Your father has been arrested on allegations of corruption. I want to begin with the premise that you will obviously be biased towards your father, but you will still have to answer the facts on this case. And, uh, you know, you can, you know, so we must understand that you will not be objective in this matter, obviously. Obviously, you will not have an objective view on this. So, but I think we'll have to answer the facts here, don't we? I will answer with the facts, sir. Yeah, so, you know, the fact is that, Nara, there is a case here. Broadly, the case is this, viewers, let me explain. The charge against Chandrababu Naidu is that he overrode the notings of his own finance ministry to give advanced payments worth 371 crores to private tech entities. And the charge is that Chandrababu Naidu, who claims to have digital governance, etc., did not float tenders or do any official valuation of the deal. The charge is also, under your father, the government order agreed to 10% financial onus on the Naidu government and 90% onus on the tech entities that was floated. The tech entities didn't give any cash. The cash was only from the government. That seems like giving a lot of sweat equity to private players. In no business, do you get 90% sweat equity without putting in anything yourself? So, Nara, it doesn't make sense. It can either be a mistake or it can be corruption. It can't be neither, in my view. No, this project is nothing new. In fact, many states have implemented this project in a similar manner. In the first skill development project in 1910 was done in 2013 in the state of Gujarat. So this is nothing new to India. And after that, multiple states have done MOUs in similar fashion. Tamil Nadu government has entered an MOU. Karnataka has done it. Jharkhand has done it. Including Andhra Pradesh, seven other states have done the exact same project. Each so, case is different. No, you, but that's the exact project. Right? The, the argument can't be that the, if this mistake has happened elsewhere, then 
my father must be right as well. You see, was there a tender process? Nara, as per the remand, the entire narrative is that two private tech companies met your father and pitched a project to him. Your father then very quickly set up the Andhra Pradesh State Skill Development Corporation and a new department in his government. Then your father released the money in advance without a tender. Was a tender floated or not? So let's get the facts straight. Yeah, was a tender floated no. or not? First, I want an answer to this. Was an tender floated or not? There is no project of this kind where 90% uh, comes through, sweat, uh, through knowledge, where they give technology input. Who values and the this, technology? Yeah, it was done by Government of India Institute. CIDT has done it, and I have facts to prove it. CIDT has done the study where they valued this project, and they've uh, clearly stated that it is worth it. And that those are the facts I have. I have the letter with me. Show me the letter. Here you go. Central Institute of Tool Design. Yeah. Submitted clearly the report. And I can enclose the report for your uh, consideration. And not only that, I also have a report where Mr. Naidu tasked government servants to go see this project being implemented in Gujarat. And after this they is the government of India society. Yes. It's a government of the India government society. government of India society under the Ministry for MSME. MSME. And not only that, Mr. Naidu tasked a panel of secretaries to go check this project out in the state of Gujarat. And they've come and they submitted a report to the government and I have all the facts with me. No, but how do you explain the notings? You're trying to say through these papers that due process was followed by your father. Absolutely. But was there an attempt to hurry the advance payments? My question is very simple. It is a well-known fact that no government, centre or state ever releases payments on time. So what I find surprising out here, in this case, the state government is pushing for the payment to be made quickly. No, where was for the it pushed? It was no, pushed. No, no. It, it was pushed. Absolutely false. If you look at... The this, demand note says that. No, the demand note is false. The demand note says the private players did not raise one rupee, but your father advanced 371 crores in parallel. What is your defense for that? So there was a panel of secretaries that went, saw the project in Gujarat, and have, have given a clear report where they clearly state that after seeing the project, the entire amount of 270 crores available in the PD account of the corporation may be released immediately to retain the interest of Siemens in the project. It's but if you're clear, if, why, why, why did Mr. Black Naidu go against the grain of what his own officers and his own finance ministry were saying? The notings in the remand copy are stark and my question is, was there or was there not a file noting on the government order of this project regarding the very formation of this skill development corporation in which the then principal finance secretary clearly noted that the formation required cabinet approval? Which they got. Cabinet approval was received. And I have, I have that also in the facts where on 16 to 2015, cabinet approval well, was Was there done. or was there not a file noting regarding the release of funds of 270 crores to the Siemens project in which the principal finance secretary under NIDU remarked that the department had to quote work and protocol for operation of funds which met with the chief secretary of Andhra Pradesh saying that the para was approved by the chief minister and the BRO had to be prepared accordingly for release funds. Was Mr. Naidu, your father, pushing this project, the project, the payment, everything at breakneck speed? If so, why? If because, so, why? Because the officers themselves submitted a report stating that money should be released to retain Siemens' interest in this project. And Siemens is a German company. And they've been implementing this project across many other would states. Would Siemens get this kind of a deal in Germany itself? Look at it. They've done it. They've done it in other states. And show I've me. All them show me. What, you, what are you showing? This is a document where the secretary himself signs and states in the last paragraph that to retain the interest of Siemens, that money shall be released from the PD account. And I have with me the proof where the same MOUs were done in different states. It's there. It's black and white. The same companies, Siemens, uh, the implementing partner called Design Tech and the respective states. No, you it's see, not just you, Andhra, the, it's the all point, other the states point, that the point, the point in this is, if you release the entire money, okay, logic, Nara. If you pay something, somebody, the entire money that is due from your side without getting the commitment from their side, the project is doomed to fail. And my counter to this paper to you is, was there or was there not a file noting in which K. Sunita, according to my information, mm -hmm. who was the secretary for the finance department under your father, specifically noted, and I quote from the demand, it may be advisable for the government to reconsider releasing the final amount. 
maybe a pilot project in one area is endorsed in para number 21 with 55 crores so the secretary in the department of finance is saying give them a little bit of money test them out have a pilot project but why was the naidu government giving them the ent entire money at once why uh, Arab, if why? Not why? we are not questioning a man for being efficient efficient hold on let me let me get the facts right Two, uh, two lakh thirteen thousand people have been trained by this project. It's, it's a matter of fact. Eighty thousand people have been placed. It's a matter of fact. Andhra Pradesh, in the report by Government of India, in terms of uh, which were the states with maximum supply of employable talent, in 2016 Andhra came first, 2017 Andhra came second, 2018 Andhra came first, 2019 Andhra came again first. And the Chief Minister no, who don't shoot, off, don't shoot off the people. No, no. Don't we, shoot off no, the no, people. We have a clear report. I'm not shooting off people. I have a clear report. This is Government of India which has told this. And the irony of the entire thing is the current Chief Minister claims credit for it. But the Chief Minister is pushing it. You agree the Chief Minister is pushing it. The suggestion made by K. Sunita, the Secretary of the Finance Department, the, in response to that, the Principal Finance Secretary writes, and I quote from the claims in the remand. I'm only quoting the remand. The Chief Secretary spoke to me requesting for immediate clearance of whatever whatever uh, Mr. G. Suparao met me and requested release of name money as decided by the Chief Minister. So the bureaucrats are also protecting themselves We're releasing the money but because Mr. Naidu has told us. They also hold know... Hold on, hold on. Yeah, this is yeah. a bureaucrat sending the document. Yeah, but this the bureaucrat is, no, no, this quoting is, is also a bureaucrat yes, who has signed the, the document. Yes, this is a bureaucrat who has signed the document who said release the 270 crores. Why is this bureaucrat correct in skill development and why is the bureaucrat in the finance department well, Allow me to finish. Correct? No, but My why is, is the bureaucrat in skill development well, allow me to finish. who you are quoting correct and the and the secretary of the finance department not correct according? Because he's supposed to take a written instruction. He can't say orally someone said it. So today, if a chief minister says, uh, give me 2,000 crores out of an account, writing. He's put where in is writing. it? He's put no, in where is the green note was from the, the chief minister? Consulted? Was the cabinet consulted? Absolutely. The Why cabinet? are there only 19 oh. days between Siemens and Design Tech presenting for Chandra Babu Naidu and the formation of the APSSDC? Okay. No, 19 we'll get, days. 19 let me finish. days. The government doesn't work like that. Oh, no. So why not? Why can't the government be efficient? I mean, you're, you're criticizing the government to be efficient. Hold oh, no. on. Where is the money trail then? If this is the, you're making an accusation that so much money has come out of the account. They say they will and interrogate they, him and find out. Well, that, that's a fallacy. They say Enforcement they will interrogate director. your father and find out. That's, a, that's, why we, that's why they say your father is in jail. Because he has to be interrogated. Enforcement director has already investigated this case at the behest of the YSRCP government, has not called my father for any investigation they so far. the case? Yes. Have they, have they, have they, have they interrogated your father? There's no need but, because there's no money trail to him. But is there a closure report? They have not. But have they given them a clean shit? Yes, uh, accounts have been open, unfrozen. No, ED, you want to, ED, if it opens a case, has, as far as I know, to close the case as well. They have unfrozen the accounts. The court has uh, let everyone out on bail. The accounts are operating naturally. And no one, uh, Mr. Naidu has not received any ED notice well, in that over case, the last two years of the case. Let me ask you a question. If this is the case and you're quoting the ED, why is the central government not coming out in support? Why is the BJP not supporting you? Well, that's a question you need to ask Bharatiya Janata Party and not Telugu Desam Party. No, no, but it's a question that must be in your mind. No, that's a question you need to ask Bharatiya Janata Party. No. How can Telugu Desam Party answer on no, behalf of No, but why didn't you appoint a third party auditor? Let me go back to the case. You're shifting from it. Why didn't you appoint a third party auditor before the approval of the project? It's elementary for, stuff. I'm sorry. Auditor for the whole the money that was paid, the work that was done. You've already said there was a third party auditor evaluating the project. My question is, was this third party auditor appointed before or after the government order was approved? No, the CIGT? Yeah, no, I'm saying that the CIGT was the, was the third party auditor appointed before or after the government order on the approval of this project. Do you have proof to defend that it was done? No, the third party auditor has been placed by this the government. In the case of Telugu Desam Party and the Telugu Desam government, it was very clear that Government of India Institute was approached to value the project and they've given a clear valuation. And also they've given the handover documents of all the equipment that the, uh, the training institutes have received. So it's there. It's all there, physically there. Even today, training is happening. Close to 200,000 students have still been trained after this government came in. So if it's all fallacy and all the money is gone out, then why is there equipment there? So you know, why the is irony in all of this is uh, that Chandra Babu Naidu, who was seen for transparency, digital governance, etc., is in jail on a charge of corruption. What is the impact on him and on you and on image? Do you not worry about image? See, absolute power. Do you not worry about image? No, absolute power corrupts absolutely. And corrupt people have put my father in jail. Who is the person who's jailed my father? It's Jagan Mohan Reddy. 
He has 38 cases against him, 10 CBA cases, 7 ED cases, 21 other cases. He's been in jail for 16 months and he's calling my father corrupt. But do you a, man, the hold on, a man who's been in politics for 42 years and has had no corrupt, uh, corruption allegations against him. Nothing has been proven. Under a false case, he's now being sent to jail. Now show me where Mr. Naidu signed on the file. Where is the document where Mr. Naidu signed on the file? The chief minister cannot be held responsible for a policy matter that he has taken. It's a, simply saying that the chairman of SBI is responsible for a decision taken by a branch manager. How is that possible? The chairman has given a policy framework, Mr. Naidu. So acknowledge something project. was wrong. Absolutely not. But your father is not personally involved. Is that no, what you're no, saying? Absolutely not. So these are two I different drawing, things. No, Either you're saying, yes, I there was a not, mistake, but my father is not the responsible for no, it. No, I'm not saying that. Or you're that. saying there's no mistake at all. I'm saying there is no mistake, and I'm just drawing an analogy. There's absolutely no mistake. In fact, Telugu Desam Party released all the bank statements of the implementation agency. Where is the money trail that Mr. Naidu has received money? Straight question. The CID has not been able to prove even till now that they have received money. Mr. Naidu received money or his family members or I or any one of us have received money. Without a money uh, trail, how is this even a case? So, you know, the thing with you, with, you are neither with the India Alliance or with the NDA. Are you here to stitch up with the NDA? Pawan Kalyan, who is with the NDA, met your father in jail. He's going with you. Are you here to formally enter the NDA? No, we are here to... I'm here to, to speak out to Indians, to understand that a man who has built his career over 42 years, his career is being marked by corruption scandal by a person who's a known corrupt individual who's not been able to establish that Mr. Naidu got any money. But now there's it's no a choice. Money I mean, there's, there's, let me put it this way. Uh, sorry if it sounds harsh on you. There have been charges of corruption against Jagan and there are now charges of corruption against uh, Mr. Naidu as well. Now both There are charges of corruption, right? Neither are convicted. But the fact is, in an election in 2024, where the issue will be corruption in a big way, Essentially, isn't this an equalizing factor? This whole case, are both sides equal now? How is this an equalizing factor? Charges of corruption against both. No, fake uh, charges of corruption. That's what Jagan no, also says. No, monies uh, were received by his company. Jagati Publication, Indra Television, Sandur Power Plant, all his companies, they got Moonies. But you heard the they Andhra police there. They are saying that we are going to find the connection between the people in the scam and Mr. Naidu himself. Going to find. But we are going to put going face to, to face. Find. We are going to do custodial interrogation. Of ah, going to find. That's what they keep saying. They'll go and find. They, they can keep finding. But then they can keep putting your they father keep in jail. They're not they going to keep, find anything. They, what if? Are you ready for your father in jail for a long time? Absolutely not. Justice might be delayed, but cannot be denied because Mr. Naidu did not do anything wrong, and I have all the documentation to prove it. And I've clearly stated it's the officers who said uh, release the funds. It's so clear in black and white. And now today he's being blamed for it. For what? But do you realize for being that? expeditious, for doing something good for the nation, for giving youngsters job. 2,13,000 people have been trained, 80,000 people have received jobs. Is that the crime that he committed? The question is that Chandrababu Naidu, and my last question to you is this. Nara, see, Chandrababu Naidu, who all his life, especially the last 25 years, has been a master of political alliances, putting parties together, leading parties, leading groups at a national level, is today friendless. You neither have allies on this side or allies on that side. No, I don't know. In his, in his, no, no. In, you know, but who are your friends? Who's Absolutely. Your are you with NDA, India Alliance? Who's I, with you? I don't need to be in, uh, in an alliance to have friends. You may have Today, to, no, no, have no. to be after no, this. No, Arunab Ji, everyone. For political experience, no, you, want no. you have to. If you look at it, almost all the regional political party leaders have expressed their support to Mr. Naidu. Rajinikan Ji has expressed his support to Mr. Naidu. Zoho CEO Sridhar Vembu has see. expressed his support to Mr. Naidu. That is the character that he has built over 42 years. And one psychotic CM has come forward and because he's corrupt, he's a known corrupt chief minister, is slinging mud at a person who's built his car character and career over the last 42 years. Are you willing to have a straight one-on-one -on -one debate with Jagat? Me? You. Bring it on. You. Absolutely. And I will prove every corruption ag allegation against Jagat. I have absolute then proof. Then why do you avoid debates with YSRCP leaders? Why should I debate with a leader who has half knowledge? Who in your debate said, we have arrested him, we'll go find evidence. Do I need to uh, 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 have a debate with some half-knowledge chaps? They don't even come prepared for it. And they, that's the kind of allegations that you do. Okay, you well, yourself have said the CID chief has made such a baseless allegation saying, I'll go find corruption, I'll go find material after I arrest Mr. Naidu. Well, Nara, thank you for coming.
and I wish Mr. Naidu good health. Uh, let's see where this battle goes. Thank you for joining me, Nara. Good to have you in my studio today. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Anna. Thank you. Thank you. Nara, do stay. And, uh, and ladies and gentlemen, I'll take a very, very short 30-second Securite commercial break. And when we come back on the other side, I'll bring you excerpts of the Ram Jetwalani Memorial uh, Lecture Series, which we were, we were proud to be partners with. And that centenary Ram Jetwalani Memorial Lecture in which the CGI spoke. We had Fali Nariman, many other legal luminaries, including Mr. Guru Murthy, Shyam Devan, and the Attorney General. Uh, excerpts of that will be playing in a few minutes.